a package from the cubicle.us and I'm gonna be unboxing it and I came prepared so for a lot of unboxings on this channel then I didn't really have any prepared cutting tool so I just had to use what was around me like this pencil or I just tried to rip it open with my hands but now I came prepared with some scissors so I'm just gonna open it like that Ooh, it's taking, it's taking longer than I would hope how about we just cut to after this so we got the bag open we have some receipts and the two products that I ordered one is Angstrom Compound V and the other is the X-Man Wingy Scube, a concave scube from Chi. So the first thing I want to open up is this Angstrom Compound V from the cubicle. So I just got this because I ran out of DNM 37 a while ago and I need to lose this my GAN RSM, which is already a great cube as it is, but I'm just going to try to lube it with some of this sort of upgraded DNM37. So, returning to four, I mean, it's kind of slow not really slow but dry for my liking so i'm just going to one eternity later open a piece up then one eat remove these corners wow maybe these weren't such loose tensions after all but it's still pretty dry so here we go, first time trying the Compound V in my cube. I'm putting my trust in this lube that it'll make this cube better because this is my main. But yeah, I'm pretty confident in it. So I'm just going to put in one drop in there. I'm just gonna sort of put one on the piece. Also, I don't wanna over lube it. Okay, the cube has already gotten faster on the side that I lubed it on. So I'm just going to drop in another drop of lube right in there. And already this is feeling like a much higher and see right here it's getting sort of lubey. I mean it is getting just a little gummy, I would say. I don't want to say that because it doesn't feel sluggish or anything. It's just like, I guess when you first lube it, just has to break in. I've already lubed it quite enough on this other side. So yeah, I'm just gonna break in this lube and see how well it performs after a few solves. So I've tried out this lube, it's been about a day, and yeah, I may have done like 50-ish solves with the new lube in this cube. It does feel a lot smoother. It also feels more like well lubed, of course, like it doesn't feel as dry. I'm not sure if it sped up that much for me, so I'm not sure. This doesn't have the exact same effect as DNM. I'm just gonna say that because whether it's better or worse is up to your own personal preference. I have no problem with this in my cube. So 
yeah, um, pretty good lube, not much else to say. And now let's go on to one of the things I've been holding off on opening until I can film it a day later, the X-Man Wingy Scube. So, my main scube, the Moyu Magnetic, it's perfectly fine. Just one thing that bothers me is that my fingers can sometimes slip, right? I'll just show a clip I'll see you in right now video. of an example of that. So yeah, she made a solution to that called the Wingy Scube. It's concave, it's also magnetic. I'm gonna see how it compares to this, and I might be putting this lube in it if it feels super dry. So yeah, I'm just gonna get it right open. I like the box that they've put it in. I've been noticing a trend of companies putting cubes in much higher quality boxes. Like, I wouldn't think this was a super high quality packaging. But this is definitely a lot better than the older cubes having just like, having it wrapped in plastic. But this, yeah, just by holding it in my hands, I. It feels smaller, like, even the pieces look smaller. That might just be because of the concaveness of it. It's actually the exact same size. I mean, it's like a tiny bit smaller, but for the most part, it's the exact same size, just on from the corner. The center is, of course, smaller, and yeah, it don't feel much loose. Oh, this? Wow, at first I thought it was very well lubed, but then I turned it some more, and it just, and it's actually dry, it's just heavier, I think. Somehow this is heavier than this. So one thing that's already bothering me out of the box is how small it is. I mean, I've already said that it was the same size, but just how it feels in your hand. So if we made a bigger version of this. But yeah, turning quality seems okay. But there's only one way to figure out the effect it would have on your solves. And that's actually doing solves. So I did a couple hundred solves on this cube. And the concaveness. The concavity is noticeable, but in a good way. It feels a lot smaller and takes a little time to get used to, but after just a few solves, I can't go back to turning the Moyu Magnetic Cube. My first average of 100 I did was, I think, my personal best by a second, which really shows the difference this cube makes. I haven't set it up yet, and I don't think I'll need to. Either way, I definitely recommend it. As always, if you like this video, make sure to click like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.